The Governor Thomas Johnson Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps Color Guard will present the colors this evening, followed by the national anthem sung by Ariana Kanatcher, a third year student in our Academy for Fine Arts. Welcome parents, families, friends, staff, and students 
to Governor Thomas Johnson High School's graduation of the class of 2020. Obviously, this is not how any of us pictured our graduation when we walked into TJ High School on our first day as freshmen about four years ago. The last few months of what should have been one of our best years in high school was taken away from us unexpectedly. And since then, the class of 2020 has been dealt a lot of curveballs. Even though it isn't the same, today is still all about celebrating our strength and resilience over these last few years. We're still celebrating today because every single one of us did the work. We all learned so many lessons and we grew as people, both inside and outside of the classroom. We have shown so much strength in such an uncertain time and we've waited for the moment to celebrate all of these things and more. So even though it isn't as we pictured it would be, I still encourage you to celebrate this moment because this is your moment. Give yourself all of the credit in the world for getting yourself to this point. Look around and see that you are also surrounded by the people who are worth celebrating in your life. Maybe you're watching this right now with some of your classmates who have all worked just as hard as you did these last four years. Maybe you're watching this with your family who have never stopped pushing you to be your best. You might be watching this with some of your friends who you've either had since freshman year or have made along the way. And know that all of the teachers and staff who never let you quit are all watching right now and they are so proud of you and all of your accomplishments. Wherever you are right now and whoever you're with, celebrate together because no one is more deserving of this in this moment than you. I am so thankful to be a part of the class of 2020 with all of you. Even if our time as high school students was not exactly as we had pictured it to be, there are no other students that I would have rather faced all of this with. Please enjoy the rest of this ceremony, the rest of this celebration of us. We've gone through a lot to get to this point and we deserve every minute of it. Thank you for listening and thank you to all of the staff and everyone else who made this virtual graduation ceremony possible. Good evening, I am Dr. Daniel Lippi, the principal of Governor Thomas Johnson High School. It is an honor and privilege to welcome you to our 53rd commencement. Allow me to introduce several guests this evening. Superintendent of Frederick County Public Schools, Dr. Teresa Alban. Executive Director of School Administration and Leadership, Dr. Jamie Alavito. Instructional Director of High Schools, Ms. Kathleen Chappelle. Members of the Frederick County Board of Education, Mr. Brad Young, President. Mr. Jay Mason, Vice President. Ms. Liz Barrett, Mr. Michael Bonitsky, Ms. Ray Gallagher, Dr. Lois Jarman, Ms. Karen Yoho, and Malachi Macon, student member of the board from TJ High School. And Governor Thomas Heinz Johnson High School administrators, Ms. Carolyn Britton, and Mr. Sean Carey, Mr. Bill Caulfield, Ms. Kelly Green, Ms. Cindy Johnson, and Mr. Michael Chavez. Please join me in a warm welcome for all of our guests. Considerable preparation is required to bring each class to graduation day and to plan and conduct each of these ceremonies. The entire TJ staff is to be commended for the dedication in preparing these graduates for this day. Special thanks go to class advisors, digital program coordinator and video producer who have attended hundreds of details to make all of this possible for the graduation events. Please join me in recognizing Ms. Linda Weinstein, Ms. Camille Lawler, Ms. Megan Smith, and Ms. Kayla Martin. To the parents and families and friends who have worked with us to, and done whatever is necessary to bring the graduates to this point, you have done a great job. Class, please join me in recognizing your parents, staff, and family. Jaden Britton is a vocal student in his third year in our Academy for the Fine Arts. He is a member of the National Honor Society and the TRIAM, the Music National Honor Society. For the past five years, Jaden has been honored to perform in Maryland's All-State Chorus. After graduation, he will attend the University of Maryland to study music education. Jaden will be singing Over the Rainbow. Oh, Ray. 
rainbow skies are blue and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you'll find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, bluebirds fly. Bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow. Why, oh, why can't I? Please welcome Dr. Terry Albin, Superintendent of Frederick County Public Schools. Congratulations, Patriots Class of 2020. It is an honor to join you, your families, friends, teachers, and staff who have supported you on this journey to your high school graduation. I do not think any of us would have predicted the detour you had to take on your educational journey because of the COVID-19 pandemic crisis. It has definitely made your journey unique, unprecedented, and a true life-changing experience. This crisis changed many things, but we know that our 21st century world is constantly changing, even when things are normal. Your years in school have provided a foundation for learning that will enable you to continue to grow and change. You have learned many important lessons, as your classmates have shared with me. From Trinity Thompson, the most important lesson I learned in high school is that it's okay to be nervous about things, but at some point you have to let go. Your fear is only holding you back from figuring out who you want to be. From Gaylene Argetta. Especially for me, the most important thing I learned during high school was that no matter the obstacles, barriers, and challenges, if you work hard, you can achieve everything you want. For me, it was not easy since after seven years, I went back to school in a different environment it was a big challenge. I came to America without knowing any English, without the support of my parents, and the culture is completely different. It was very hard. But thanks to my effort and determination, also the huge support from my brothers, teachers, and my counselor who have always believed in me, I can say that I have completed a step in my life, and my new challenge is to graduate from college. I am so thankful for everyone who helped me, and it was amazing to meet new friends. I will never forget this great experience. I have them all in my heart, and unfortunately, I couldn't say goodbye to all of them, but you all have a place in my heart. From Rachel Adioye, the most important lesson I learned in high school is to take risk. You never know the extent of your true ability if you don't take risk. You won't know what good things may come out of you trying something new and leaving your comfort zone. It usually always works out. Even if you fail, there are great lessons to be learned, even from your failures. From Kwaku Adam Tang. The most important lesson I learned in high school is that I need to be in charge of myself to be successful. I can't rely on anyone else to motivate me or set my goals for me. I personally have to take the time to look at what I want to do with my life 
and how I want to do it. I have to be willing to get rid of my procrastinations or passive attitudes. I have to really get work done. I believe the lessons you learned on your educational journey helped you to cope and adapt during this pandemic crisis. It is often said that a crisis reveals a person's true character. I think a crisis also builds our character as we must rise to meet new challenges. That is definitely what happened for many members of the class of 2020. Here are some of your classmates' reflections on the valuable lessons they have learned by living through a crisis. From Gabe Brewster, Throughout this crazy pandemic circumstance, the most important lesson I have learned is the concept of only letting things I can control affect me. This idea was put into my brain by the best calculus teacher in the county, the one and only Vince Posca. We talked about ideas such as this occasionally throughout Calculus 3 first semester, and I have really been pondering these ideas during this pandemic. Although it is sad I cannot have a complete senior year, I know getting upset and being in the dumps about it is pointless. I cannot control this virus, but I can control how it affects me. From Glyn Del Rosario. Never forget the value of being able to see your friends and loved ones every day. Take advantage of every single moment in life, no matter how mediocre or repetitive these moments may be. The 6 a.m. alarms, running into a familiar face in the hallway, incessant bell ringing, the smallest things can be taken away so swiftly as if they were never there. Find beauty in the insignificance of your routine. From Javon Dean Linton. Important lesson I learned from this pandemic, I learned that we should practice mindfulness. Stay aware of every single thing that you come encounter with. Take in all sorts of things that you would take for granted, like the sounds and movements of others, nature, and yourself. Not because it may be the last time, but because there is so much time to learn to be aware. From Wyatt Bean. I was expecting a vacation, but it wasn't. And I touch my face more than I thought I did. And from Deja Drummond. Living every day to the fullest is a lesson that is taught all the time. But experiencing the pandemic crisis firsthand allowed me to look at this lesson with a bit more seriousness. I never knew that I would not get to experience a large portion of my senior year. Instead, I was too focused on the future or what was coming next. I learned that it is important to enjoy every single moment and not wish your days away by worrying about the future. The class of 2020 has grown so much in 13 years and in the last three months. You have sacrificed much during this crisis, and I hope you will reflect on what you have gained as well. Your classmates have said it so eloquently. There is no doubt that your class will be remembered in history, yet I believe that the members of this class will be remembered, not because you graduated during the pandemic of 2020, but because of how you rose from that crisis to become incredible leaders, thinkers, innovators, and compassionate global citizens. And so, Patriots Class of 2020, now is your time to create positive change in the world. I wish you much success on your journey, and remember, make us FCPS proud of you. And now it is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jay Mason, member of the Frederick County Board of Education. Hello, Governor Thomas Johnson High School Class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Education of Frederick County, I would like to extend our sincerest congratulations on your graduation and our deepest regrets that you cannot celebrate this moment with your classmates, teachers, and administrators. Wherever your path has taken you after today, always be prepared and ready because you never know when it'll be your time to shine. A few short years ago, I was lucky enough to play in the 1988 TJ Frederick High homecoming football game as a sophomore. After a successful JV season, Coach Ben Wright asked me to move up to start a defensive back for the homecoming game. Going into that game, Frederick High needed one win to make the playoffs. My opportunity took an unexpected turn late in the third quarter when the starting quarterback broke his hand. 
At that time, we were down by 15 points, and I was asked to step in to finish the game at quarterback. I was the JV quarterback that season, so I was prepared and ready, even though that was not the plan going into the game. Long story short, with seven seconds left to play, the starting quarterback, who broke his arm, kicked a 47-yard field goal that hit the crossbar, bounced over the goalpost to win the game 32-30. I helped lead our team to a come-from-behind victory. It was a great win, a fantastic team effort, and at the time, a big moment in my life. And still to this day, always fun to reminisce about the game with my Frederick High friends for many reasons. That big moment in my life could not have happened without my team working together to earn the win. Fast forward to April of 2019. I was visiting a middle school, and during the, my conversation with the principal, we talked about me having a master's degree in elementary education, and that I was once certified to teach middle school math. During our tour of the school, the principal took me to a math class. After the teacher finished teaching a math problem, the principal announced to the class he was putting me on the spot, and then asked if I would, be, if I would like to teach a math problem. I quickly said yes. The last time I taught a math class was in 2012, but I was ready. I was caught off guard, but I was prepared and ready. There were some kinks in my teaching, and overall it went well, and the students were engaged, which was most important. It was a small moment and an exciting moment as an FCPS board member. It was one of those never let them see a sweat moments. If you have never heard that expression, you can ask your parents about it or Google it. My wife recently bought a book of poems called Storyteller by Morgan Harper Nichols. I went to look through it, and I opened it to page eight. So I read the poem, which is perfect for this moment. It is titled, For the Year. When you start to feel like things, you should have been better this year. Remember the mountains and valleys that got you here. They are not accidents, and those moments weren't in vain. You're not the same. You have grown, and you are growing. You are breathing. You are living. You are wrapped in endless, boundless grace. And things will get better. There is more to you than yesterday. As a TJ alumnus, I appreciate the opportunity to participate in this momentous time of your lives. I leave you with this. Always be prepared. Always be ready to seize your moment, no matter how big or small. Thank you, and best of luck. Our student speaker, Chloe Johnson, is a secretary of the National Honor Society and been involved in many activities and organizations at, at, during her time at Governor Thomas Johnson High School. She devotes her time to the award-winning TJ Marching Band and Color Guard, in addition to the Patriot Pals, Interact Club, and Latin Club. Chloe plans to attend the University of Maryland in College Park this fall, majoring in linguistics. To the class of 2020. You know, it's funny now that I'm thinking about it. We've always had an interesting graduation year, whether because of the numeric symmetry or the 2020 vision gags. But now, as we've gotten to the end, being a graduate of the class of 2020 is going to take on a whole new weight. I'm sure it goes without saying that our year has become completely different than what it was supposed to be. So I won't harp on it. Today's occasion is momentous as much as it is historic. I'm here before you today as a proud member of a class that has met the challenges of 12 years of schooling with tenacity and passion. And that's almost an understatement because every day I am more impressed and inspired by the accomplishments of my fellow classmates, whether in the classroom, on the stage, on the field, or anywhere in between. So the big question that faces us is, now what? In truth, it's hard to predict, since the world ahead of us hangs in a strange balance for the foreseeable future. The reality is that these events that we're living through now are arguably the most historic and significant our generation has seen, the majority of us were born after 9-11. This is our generation's war, and like those before us who have experienced terrible events in formative years, it will inevitably shape our futures and our attitudes in our lives. But don't for a minute let yourself believe that that will hurt us. If anything, we will emerge stronger and more resilient than before, because if there's one thing that our class has to our advantage, it is our ingenuity, and the same qualities that got us this far will propel us forward. When the snowball of current events really started to roll, taking all the certainties of senior year with it, I initially felt sad at the prospect that recognition of our achievements could be reduced to being just the class of coronavirus. But after reflection, I realized that this isn't a reduction, it's an addition. I began looking ahead and I moved from hopelessly wishing that things hadn't gone this way to wanting to skip to the good part that's coming after the storm. I hope 
that you will do the same. Throughout our formative years, the, our generation has observed this turbulent world with unique acuity, bravery, and maturity. So to my fellow graduates, keep that spirit of optimism and hope with you. The world we live in will continue to change dramatically, and it will need our creativity, our resourcefulness, and our dedication to our goals, whatever yours may be. We will be instrumental to its future because we are the graduating class of a year that has thrown us every curveball and has established its place in history, as will we. We are living and growing up in interesting times, and it has been hard and heartbreaking. But I will leave you with the words of the Roman author Virgil. Perhaps one day it will be pleasant to remember even these things. In the midst of a crisis, we, have a, we as a class have found ways to come together, celebrate, and show the world what we bring to the table. As you move forward into your lives, stay strong, remember what you've already accomplished, and know that when the world recovers, and it will, we will be the ones to build it back up, our way. We are the class of 2020, and we did it. Thank you, and congratulations. As an eternal optimist, I have found the past few months the most challenging in my life. I know I'm not alone as we have seen our entire way of life completely changed um, by a virus we cannot see, feel, or touch. Our five senses are woefully inadequate to protect us from COVID-19. I find myself videotaping a graduation address meant to be given in front of thousands of people coming together to celebrate one of the most significant events in the lives of our 2020 graduates. I always look to find a way to inject humor into troubling situations to lighten the mood, even if only for a few moments. The pandemic has made this even more challenging as the reality has been very hard for all of us. I could talk about the ways our life has changed. I could rail about the health restrictions implemented to save our lives or commiserate with everyone about what the virus has cost each one of us. However, in the darkest hours, we must find ways to get back to the light, the comfort of our friends and family and live for the next day. In this spirit, I'm gonna share a short story with you. The story is gonna start a little strange and probably make you wonder why in the world I would choose to talk about this at graduation. I hope if my storytelling skills are strong enough that you will see the connections before I finish the story. Captured prisoners in Africa rarely find their way to the United States. This story is about one of those inmates that did indeed make it to our shores in the spring of 2005. After lengthy negotiations with prison officials in Kansas, two very specific prisoners were brought to the United States to help us learn about them and how they could contribute to our way of life. The two inmates made the journey um, to Kansas and found themselves awaiting processing when a significant storm struck the city. Heavy winds, driving rain, and rising river waters forced much of the city to be shut down to shelter in place while the storm wreaked havoc. Downed power lines, poor driving conditions, and weather-related closures kept the next shift of guards from arriving at the prison. The guards on duty were required to work a double shift in monitoring the inmates and taking care of various maintenance tasks caused by the weather. The two prisoners found themselves locked in holding cells without any supervision as those guards were lending themselves to other, were meeting other responsibilities. The storms destroyed part of the cells holding them. They managed to not get injured when the, stru when the structure buckled. They managed to find themselves an escape route. Despite not knowing anything about where they were in Kansas, both prisoners took off. Even though they were transported together, they did not know each other. As a result, they started traveling together, but quickly soon separated. One continued traveling north to Michigan via Wisconsin, and the other turned south, traveled towards Texas. Search parties were immediately dispatched to bring the two wayward prisoners home. Neither of them were considered threats to the community, but both were a concern that without shelter and or knowledge of the area, their lives may be in danger. The two prisoners escaped without a trace. The path of fugitive number 4347 went through parts of Wisconsin and potentially Michigan that had not started the spring thaw. Authorities believed number 347 was probably lost in the wilderness. Fugitive number 492 has been spotted numerous times in the last 15 years, most recently in Texas in last May. He has eluded all attempts at capture. Given the changes that he has made in his life and the lack of any violent history, authorities determined that they could no longer waste their resources on trying to apprehend him. One advantage of the video presentation is that I can use pictures. Here's a last known picture of Fugitive 492, just in case you were traveling and happened to run into him. 
Fugitive number 492 is an escaped flamingo from Tanzania. He has been seen in Wisconsin, Louisiana, and Texas. A few quick notes about flamingos, because this is a learning speech as well as a graduation address. They live in tropical marshlands along the coast, um, lakes and riverbeds. They're extremely social creatures. They seek out families and companions. Um, they're extremely adaptable. They've adapted to water that's turned toxic in environments that have become inhospitable due to climate change. In the 15 years since his escape, fugitive number 492 has flourished in his new home. He's found a companion in a South American flamingo and is traveling with a group that moves up and down the marshlands between Louisiana and Texas. Texas wildlife authorities have taken over trying to monitor his whereabouts to learn how he's managed to adapt and flourish in an environment that was only marginally similar to what he knew in Tanzania. I first told this story to set the stage for new challenges that faced education at the start of the school year. We were heading into full-time use of Schoology, moving towards more technology and instruction, and helping support students who'd suffered some kind of physical or emotional trauma in their life. I had no idea the changes that, and events that would halt our society over the early months of 2020. The world of Fugitive 492 was completely lost when he was captured and brought to a Kansas zoo. He was set free into the world that looked nothing like what he was used to. The harsh environment limited his movement when he started his journey north. And after adjusting to this limitation, he found a path that's led him to not only survive, but thrive in a new environment. The pandemic has forced the class of 2020 to face some of these same challenges. The schedule that's dominated your life since you were five years old abruptly ended. Teachers, bells, and school rules no longer guided your life for seven hours a day, five days a week. The comfort of knowing what happened during the day, five days a week, was gone for each one of you. The friends that you've seen almost every day for many years were suddenly physically cut off. Now they're were now they were all going in different directions in their lives after graduation. Staying connected will be challenging as new experiences become more important for everybody. All of those challenges would have existed after graduation. The pandemic forced these to occur three months early in a way that kept many of us from getting the closure that we would have received going through the end of the year. There are three life lessons to be learned from Fugitive 492. Learn, adapt, and thrive. Learn is the first lesson. Every new experience will provide the opportunity to learn about how your world will work. College, workplaces, and the military will all have a different set of rules for learning, working, and social experiences. Most of these make the most of these opportunities, even if they might not end successfully. Fugitive number 492 flew north until he realized it was too cold. He turned and went in a different direction based on what he learned and experienced. Adapt. Without any doubt, the pandemic has shown all of us we may need to adapt to changing circumstances. This important skill is part of who each and every one of you is as a person. No other class in Patriot Nation finished their year under such restriction. The most important lesson I hope you learn is that you have the power in your life to make lemonade out of lemons. The pandemic has forced us to learn new ways to celebrate our accomplishments. Do the current restrictions mean that your accomplishments are not important or impressive? Do you find a way to make these unique circumstances turn into a positive celebration that may set the tone for how things can be done in this new and different world we are living in? Thrive. The third lesson is simple as one plus one equals two. If you take everything you learn from your experience and you adapt them in ways that work for you, then you will thrive. You will be able to adjust no matter what is thrown in your direction. You will be unstoppable and adapting will always move you towards success. The fourth bonus lesson is that you, not society, defines who you are. Logic and common sense would have said that an African bird would not have survived for 15 years in an environment so foreign to anything it had ever experienced. Fugitive 492 never knew this logic and common sense. He simply did fugitive number 492. You need to do you. Be the best person you can be. Stay true to yourself and your beliefs. Don't listen to the naysayers or those who want to hold you back. Thrive in everything that you do. Thank your family for their support. Few people ever accomplish anything without the support of their friends and family. Thank you for everything you have done for Governor Thomas Johnson High School. And I leave you with one thought to think about as you embark on your next stage in life. It is the small things, everyday deeds of, of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Simple acts of kindness and love from Gandalf in an unexpected journey. Congratulations, class of 2020. 
We have two awards to present this evening. This is the 22nd year of this annual tradition. The Golden Patriot Award is given to one student and one staff member selected by the graduating class and staff. Individuals selected for this award consistently demonstrate a commitment to the six pillars of character counts. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. We carry on the TJ tradition of last year's staff Golden Patriot member addressing the graduates. Although we are not able to have a traditional award ceremony, Mr. Adam Weinstein, Golden Patriot of, 20, of 2019, will share his thoughts with you. Hello, Patriots. For sure, this is one of the toughest speeches I've ever had to write. How do I start? What can I even say considering the circumstances? So I thought about what I know. These are tough times. Each of us has experienced sacrifice. In these last few months, each of us has experienced a major shift which will undoubtedly have an effect on how we live the rest of our lives. Similarly, when I was graduating high school, my friends and I thought we might be drafted into a war just gearing up halfway across the world. A war where we still have people fighting almost two decades later. Those were scary times. Times where we were constantly trying to judge whether that plane flying overhead was too low, never knowing where the next attack might occur or when. This became our new normal and has been your whole life experience. What you are sacrificing and experiencing now will shift your normal. Remember though, you are not defined by your experiences. Rather, you are defined by your response to those things you experience. So ask yourself, what is your response? How will you define yourself based on your experiences? From the hate and bigotry of my tear-laden experiences, I have tried to spread peace, love, and commonality. Perhaps, from your experiences, you will choose to spread knowledge, well-being, and equity. I want to share with you a quote from President Theodore Roosevelt, a famous quote, one I think fitting of our current times. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and dirt, sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. So I ask, are you the man in the arena, or are you the person who points out how others stumble? These are tough times, but tough times make for tough people, and tough people create the most beautiful times. I have the special privilege now to introduce the staff member selected as Golden Patriot by the class of 2020. This year's staff member, this year's staff member, Golden Patriot, is a longtime member of Patriot Nation. Some teachers at TJ remember this person as a student here a number of years ago. The Golden Patriot excelled in all aspects of high school life. As a teacher here for a number of years, this person is described by one senior as, quote, the perfect balance between a teacher, a mentor, and a friend. If you walk near this person's classroom during Patriot Hour, you will invariably find that it is packed with students who are there because they find that it is a welcoming, friendly, fun atmosphere. More than that, as one teacher says about this teacher, they are available to students like few others. This person's room and heart are always open to students in need. Many students describe a teacher who is willing to help tutor students, even if this person has never had them in class. This teacher is constantly thinking of new ways to reconnect or connect with students. It is my pleasure and honor to introduce the 2020 Golden Patriot faculty recipient, Mr. Brandon Cunningham.
The Student Golden Patriot Award winner receives a $500 scholarship sponsored by the Student Government Association. We have honored the following nominees with red, white, and blue cords. Daisy Drummond, Emily Jacob, Rachel Anderson, Kwaku Adantan, Gabe Brewster, Jane L. Black, Zoe Poppert, Jenna Maraday, Isabella Martinez, Olivia Rourke, Jenna Dawson. This year's student recipient is, is described by his peers and teachers as an exemplar of a true patriot who has displayed school spirit and excelled as a leader. This person, the nominee has contributed to the community as a hard worker in the classroom, on the athletic field, and in the workplace. This person has not missed a beat, even with personal hardships. As far as friendships go, this person is not only loyal to friends, but more importantly, someone who can be a friend to anyone. This is someone who will help you with something that you don't understand in class without judging you for it. This is someone who would stick up for you in a conversation, even if they didn't know you that well, even if you weren't there to hear it. This is a kind person who cares about everyone. No matter what the situation entails, the Golden Patriot approaches it with an optimistic attitude and a helping hand. Both students and teachers describe our Golden Patriot as one of those students who leads by example and who always does the right thing, even when no one is looking or when nothing is expected in return. One student says the most important thing about this nominee is that he would never even think of himself as a Golden Patriot because he is selfless and doesn't think of himself at all above others. Our 2020 Golden Patriot is an impressive leader, citizen, and role model committed to the highest academic, athletic, and personal standards. The class of 2020 has selected Mr. Gabe Brewster as this year's Golden Patriot. Congratulations, Gabe. Graduates, it is a privilege for us to certify that you have met the requirements of the Maryland State High School Diploma. Peter James Abel. Elijah Julius Blue Abrams. Zachary Edward Acker. Precious Diamond Adams. Ara Alua Rachel Adioye. Kwaku Poku Adantang. Grace Alau Abaki. Sylvia Gabriela Aleman. Jacinia Elizabeth Alfaro. Valeria Lisette Alicea Lopez. Victor Manuel Alonso Hernandez. Franklin Enrique Alvarado Zelaya. Karen Melissa Alvarenga. Kathy Jasmine Alvarez. Stephanie Guadalupe Amaya. Kevin Jofed Amaya Suazo. Giovanni Manuel Anderson. Rachel Elizabeth Anderson. Emily Rocio Antesana. Judy Ann Arlano. Juana de Jesus Arevalo Ruiz. Kellen Yolanda Argueta Argueta. Luke Andrew Atienza. Audrey Baudraz Bajuen Zuabet. Rebecca Noel Baird. Brandon Michael Balducci. Madison Marie Vance. Megan Lauren Barr. 
Pastora Beatriz Barrera Reyes. Wyatt Odell Bean. Alma Jaisel Benitez. Tamila Facundin Bento. Janiel Kimberly Black. Robert Michael Bolhoff Jr. Miguel Angel Bonilla Franco. Chance Maurice Booth. Alyssa Lynn Bosley. Emanuela Gouet. Jasmine Ann Bowen. Christian Blake Bowers. Ayana Brache Bowie. Shane David Bowie. Samira James Maxine Ari Bowens. Eric Michael Brakefield. Gabriel William Brewster. Jaden Parker Britton. Donald Wayne Brown. Asia Charmaine Barbara Brunn. Jaden Brianna Bug. Anna Claire Smith Burdett. Elena Brianna Bergamy. William Tembo Burnett. Jason Alberto Cabrera. Brandon Stephen Calderoli. Sircon Mevlut Kaliskan. Lakin Alexis Capel. Carlos Alfredo Carpio Trujillo. Olma Castillo Lopez. Jocelyn Stephanie Castillo Ruby. Caden Dominique Charles. Michael Ronghoi Chang. Li Na Chong. William Robert Collis II. Ariana Kathleen Joy Conacher. Haley Nicole Conway. Alan Paul Cook. Kennedy Grace Culkin. Delaney Rose Curtis. Nadia Simone Curtis. Isaiah Armani Daniels. Didi Jadri Ida Arminia Darty. Tiali Paola Davila Quintana. Cariana Denise Davis. Leilani Ashley Davis. Jenna Christina Dawson. Trent William Day. Freddy Otoniel de la Cruz Barrientos. Alexander Ian de Gaulle. 
Line Christine Del Rosario Oscar Isaac Delgado Lorna Jewel Dennis Marley Grace Dennis Manuel Alejandro Diaz Escobar Jacqueline Maria Diaz Rodriguez Alicia Amaya Dillard Dragbo Look Emmanuel Dijoki Lauren Joel Dorsey Deja Alexis Drummond Alexander Wiley Dunheimer Haley May Duncan James Eugene Dupree Madison Alexis Earwood Joshua David Eckenrode Raymond Andres Encarnacion Isabella Marie Ennis Andres Giovanni Enriquez Diana Janira Escobar Stephanie Lisbeth Escobar Elias Amy Denise Espinosa Montero Sebastián Espinosa Wong Stephanie Guadalupe Strada Anthony Darnell Evans David Daniel Falachi Julian Rose Firetag Kimberly Ferman Fuentes Madison Ann Fernandez Aaron Noel Fitzgerald Taylor Cynthia Flegel Riley Nali Foreman Matthew Christian Folks Victoria Graciela Fox Raquan Allen Frazier Maria Magdalena Fuentes Gonzalez Leslie Araceli Funes Elisa Carolina Galeas Velasquez Troy Patrick Gamble Jason Humberto Garcia Javier Enrique Garcia Peña Larry Lamont Genus Jr. Kayla Jordan Giles Sean Christopher Giles Grace Catherine Gillard Matthew Bender Giller Yasim Diari Gibbons Riley Mauricio Goches Aileen Jocelyn Godoy Rosales Elijah Dante Goins Gabriel Emiliano Gonzalez Jr. 
Francisco Javier González Ángel. Jefferson David González Fallas. Esmeralda Lisette González Ramírez. Rosa González Venegas. Sharon Abigail González Zumbado. Nelly Mabel Gramajo. Aiden William Green. Samuel Odom Jima. Kyle Russell Hahn. Nazinga Nevea Hall. Thomas Kennedy Hollowell. Grace Catherine Harding. Olivia Sue Hatcher. Terrence Carme Hawkins Jr. Khalil Jamir Heath. Ali Amur Hagazi. Del Kyle Hellman. Joshua Andrew Hendy. Fidel Isaac Enriquez. Ariana Kiera Henry. Seth Andrew Henry. Eber Esau Hernández. Gabriela Stephanie Hernández González. Catherine Stephanie Hernández Granados. William Alfredo Hernández Rivera. Nayeli Alejandra Hernández Vanegas. Catherine Jane Herndon. Gabriela Jasmine Herrera. Jaden Lee Higgins. Zoe Sabria Higgs. Rachel Ann Hillman. Alexa Renee Obert. Maisha Berlin Holland. Connor Gerald Hosier. Fashal Hussein. Cheyenne Lee Hunt. Taylor Janae Husky. Josephine Abigail Jack. Alexander Evan Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. Kanasia Tajay Jackson. Lauren Elise Jackson. Emily Elizabeth Jacob. Nitya Mahir Johnny. Nicholas Anthony Jimenez. Chloe Lila Johnson. Chalisa Georgia Johnson. Kelton Edward Johnson. Nilani Kai Johnson. Jessica Alana Juarez. 
Madeline Hannah Karchmer. Morgan Sake Cates. Emma Brooks Kelly. Elena Marie Ramalda Kemp. Danny Kim. Caden Dakota Kinna. Alexander Michael Klein. Ian Michael Klein. Elena Grace Klutz. Robert Mason Kojak. Ange Shannon Henriette Cohn. Lydia Quiete. Charles Atticus Hersman Leibman. Eloy Manuel Leon Yepes. Annalise Claire Lewis. David Fang Zhang Lian. Shania Monet Lingham. Cassandra Meredith Linton. Javon Dean Clinton Linton. Grace Marie Little. Goodger Lu. Stephen Antonio Lombardi. Gisela Jamilet Lopez. Kevin Ernesto Lopez. Melvin Jesus Lopez Ramirez. Ermine Tracy Ma. John Larry McKenzie III. Angelo Devante Maddox. I shot Sanusi Magari. Mohammed Sanusi Magari. Jenna Elise Meriday. Jonathan Alexis Maradiaga Vieira. Hannah Rain Martin. Andres Ernesto Marticorena Arias. Isabella Mirka Martinez. Gabriela Elena Martinez Vasquez. Kaya Rain Daisy Mason. Imani Merengue Mathenge. Sadea Antoinette Madison. Trevor Andrew McAlpine. Finnegan Gabriel Spencer McCourtney. Drew Thaddeus McGrath. Keyshawn Jamali Meadows. Nikira Nige Means. Brendan Enrique Mejia Lemus. William Alexander Mejia Reyes. Kevin Ernesto Mejia Trinidad. Michael Martin Anthony Melendez Jr. Gabriela Camille Mels. Christopher Robert Mender. 
Nelsi Gudiel Mendez Lopez. Courtney Noel Mercer. Abby Christine Meredith. Rachel Ann Meredith. Kaylee Damaris Marlos. Alasia Chantel Louise Miller. Cole Marshall Miller. Gloria Andrea Milstein. Manuel Milstein. Wilbel de Jesus Molinero Cornelio. Lenzi Azol Mondo. Denis Ariel Montano Cañas. Azaria Karima Moore. Malik Kiwante Demetrius Moore. Maria del Cielo Moreno. Jeremiah Michael Devante Morris. Keelan Marquise Morrison. Tamara Sana Moses. Calvin Giovanni Munoz. Samuel Alexander Munoz. Sierra Ray Myers. Noah Samuel Nail. Matthew Thomas Nally. Alvaro Negrete. Carla Negrete. Brianna Anisha Sarah Nelson. Jared Alexander Nemhard Morris. Christopher Michael Nestor. Ray Jacob Nicholson. Sarah Michelle Noble. Quentin Thier Norberg. David Joseph Norris. Christopher Tokaju Wachuku. Phoenix Devlin O'Keefe. Deborah Aoife Alua Abadavan. Etel Judith Ochoa Ruiz. Jenny Ariana Ojaku. Grace Deborah Ojo. Brittany Samantha Oliva. Trisha Aradia Alofia. Michael Okordachu Opoku. Madison Marie Oranzak. Katherine Orellana Andrade. Kelly Orellana Andrade. Jacob Daniel Orland. Nathaniel Owusu Jechi. Dakari Saran Pace. Pablo Ricardo Paez Martinez Jr. Eric Neftali Palacios Argueta. Emily Michelle Palmer. 
Jaden Ashanti Parker. Nadia Lorraine Parker. Rihanna Elena Paul. Tayan Kevin Paul. Ethan James Paulus. Haley Michelle Paulus. Megan Sarah Paulus. Kyle Marlon Pearson. Catherine Carla Pelaez. Daniel Peña. Lucia Stephanie Peña Rivera. Andy Steven Perez. Itzel Perez. Eric Giovanni Perez Chilel. Jamel Anthony Peterson Jr. Blake Eric Phelps. Cassandra Brooke Phillips. Veronica Diana Pineda. Megan Isabella Pineda Bates. Joseph James Pinto. Katie Sarai Pleites Hernandez. Lisbeth Abigail Pleites Hernandez. Michael Andrew Popa. Zoe Danielle Hopper. Christopher Marcus Putman. Alicia Samantha Quesada. Campbell Verdi Quill. Brian Eduardo Ramirez. Haley Autumn Reed. Josephine Faith Wren. Megan Leigh Reves. Odalis Patricia Reyes Arevalo. Osvaldo Vladimir Reyes Martinez. Molly Eleanor Rhodes. Joseph Robert Richmond. Rebecca Ann Riedesel. Sarah Catherine Ripian. John Francis Ritchie. Olivia Margaret Wark. Joshua Nathan Robertson. Sydney Robertson. Amy Elizabeth Robertson. Rebecca Catherine Robertson. Haley James Rockwell. Main Antonio Rodriguez. Katherine Stephanie Rodriguez Tobias. Andrew Timothy Paul Rodiger. Eric Quajan Rogers Bolden. Caden Michael Rosenberg. Kaya Lynn Rosenbluth. 
Blake Allen Routson. Ramsey Russell Royce. Tyler Wayne Runkles. Cassidy Nicole Runner. Daniel Alejandro Salinas. Casey Andrea Salinas Martinez. Nayara Sanai Sampson. Rutha Hay Mar San. Gerald Michael Sare. Gage Joseph Schiavani. Teresa Damaris Seke. Rashida Raghavi Sharan. Christopher David Shores. Mason Jean William Sicklesteel. Megan Nicole Sims. Alan Jarrell Simpson. Javion Monet Sims. Catherine Faith Sloan. Rodrigo Alejandro Sloan. Arija Renee Smallwood. Carly Rita Smith. Curtis Mason Smith. Jaden Tice Van Dam Smith. Kyara Latea Snowden. Alina Solano Quiroz. Zarif Solomon. Karina Hanover Sons. Torin Christian Sons. Isabel Solana Spons. Cole Edward Stevens. Langston Ellis Stewart. Terrell Anthony Story. Angel Nevea Stouter Workman. Victor Alexander Suarez Jr. Colin Joel Sullivan. Sydney Paige Sullivan. Daniel Roland Summerstay. Robert Trent Sutphin. Aaron Demetrius Swizer. Edward David Taji. Serene Tatarian. Stella Tessarolo. Brianna Lynn Thomas. Nijay Nicole Thomas. Olivia Grace Thomas. Ariana Nicole Thompson. Trinity Aaliyah Thompson. Bernadette Iris Tiejo Numbisi. Charles Leroy Tilton. Sabrina Ovell Tony. 
José Luis Torres Rodríguez, José Iván Trejo Tepas, Justine Angel Tribus, Kayla Tiana Turner, Brendan Aníbal Uceda Llerena. Ángela María Valenzuela Cordero. Helen Suhey Vallecillo Peña. Nathan Alexander Van Vactor. Nicholas Vasilev. Emerson Danilo Vasquez. Jacqueline Betsavi Vega Diaz. Rocío Lisbeth Velázquez Aguilar. Julio Cesar Velázquez Pérez. Carla Isela Vides Morán. Mallory Ruth Von Garrel. Shirley Ann Vu. Jason Philip Wagespeck. Lucy Camilla Catherine Walker. William Charles Walls. Grace Leah Worthen. Rachel Grace Westmoreland. William Harold Westmoreland. Toriani Laquille Whitfield. Adrian Lester Williams. Chloe Saskia Williams. Dion Kemi Williams. Priscilla Janae Wilson Gay. Jack Henry Wolfus. Eric's D'Angelo Woods. Joshua Alexander Wolf. Logan Diane Yamaguchi. Daryl Nikwe Yarti. Isola Imani Young. Caitlin Fenway Zidelis. Good evening, Patriots. Danny Cleveland here. And for those of you that have seen the last, I don't know, three, four, five graduations, if you've caught any of those, you know this is the time when I usually get up here on the stage and make a fool of myself. Rant and rave a little bit for you guys, but um, you know, the way things are nowadays, the virus, and everybody shut in and shut down. Even the mascot of the cover team, so I don't know. I just, I just don't want to be afraid to, to do what we do. We do what we do. I'm just trying to show a little. Uh, you know what, man? Forget that. Give me a second. Yeah. If any class deserves this, it's yours. Here it goes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. It is with great pride and pleasure that I introduce to you for the very first time the Governor Thomas Johnson High School Class of 